football player is made to play the sport. And though they ultimately stop playing someday, they remain football players for life. This game has, you know, it has a lot of ups and downs to it, but it's a beautiful process. You know, and I think everything within that game and that structure, you know, made me to the person I am today. Football is more of a physical game, hard nose, kind of like the people here in Pittsburgh. When people ask me where I'm from, I tell them I'm, I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. An area that has been rich with tradition, with talent. All of us played, came up playing other sports, also baseball, basketball, track. There's just something different about playing football. For years, these football players have been shaped, crafted, and forged on this field. You couldn't wait till you, re you were able to play on this field and play for your community and see everybody lined up on the fences and screaming your name and not, they're all the talk in the barbershops and stuff. It was, it was just huge. I mean, we felt like superheroes out on this field. It's a tradition on Friday nights. There's the, the pageantry that goes with it. You know, coming through the tunnel and the band in the end zone and how you couldn't find a seat in the stadium. People used to sit up on the houses with signs and stuff. Very fortunate here to have a lot of great memories on this field. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade that experience for nothing in the world. Each player has a unique journey, but they all share a common love for the game. It's tough to explain unless you go through it. Football is big for a lot of us, especially for me, I would say. I fell in love with that at an early age, and, and the passion is, is still there now. You know, ever since I started when I was 10 years old, like, I think I just enjoyed every step of it. I've always just loved football. You can see it in their faces, hear it in their stories. These are experiences they embrace forever. I remember like it was yesterday, 2003. Uh, I had a punt return sideline for 89. Coming down our sideline from about 60 out. In a triple overtime game, there was 15,000 people here. Against uh, Central Catholic, probably one of, outside the Super Bowl, probably like number two in my life as far as uh, favorite games to play in. And I remember most in college, we was playing Florida Atlantic. I juke back and forth maybe about three times. Beat them. I had a 71 yard uh, touchdown. I threw a dig right on me. And I broke it up to win the game. And did a front flip from the five-yard line then for a score. It's like one of my favorite plays in my career. Yeah, I feel a lot of people still talk about to this we day. We actually rushed the field at the end of the game. It was crazy. Each level had something to it. You know, there was a play or there was a game or there was some form of adversity that I want to overcome this. And I want to come back and rebound from that event that happened the year before. Like, I want to get better on that. I came back uh, my senior year after two knee surgeries, one on both knees. And a lot of people kind of wrote me off, didn't know if I would be the same after everything, but uh, I had the game-winning touchdown uh, right there in the end zone. And it, uh, it stuck with me for a long time. Football isn't just an opportunity to be great. It's about learning how to become more than you were before. And so for the sixth year, these football players gather to teach what they had been taught, to help forge the next generation of players, to pass on what has helped make them who they are today. Man, it was a real good day to come out and do some football. I think this year we kind of upped the energy. We really got after it this year. It's a lot more active and a lot more serious. You know, push the tempo a little bit more. It's not the same stuff every year. Just something different, just a tweak to it, and they're enjoying it. A lot of coaches was involved in the drills as well. Um, the kids were able to see different examples. You know, I think the kids come back and they're, they're actually getting better at doing it. They know what to do is much faster. Just to see the kids grow from last year to this year. And it's been some big improvements we could tell from the field. A lot of the kids put more effort this year. We had a couple young kids. They had some great footwork on the ladder, so we'll be looking out for them. You want them to work harder. You want them to, uh, you know, progress. It's just a great opportunity for them to come out and showcase their talent and also get some motivation and build their confidence. It's a lot of work stuff, but they're doing it. The fun fun is really the game, but they're making this fun. You know, they're enjoying this, they're enjoying the process. What they realized was this is probably the hardest they'll be worked all year. The effort they were putting in, see how much fun they were having, um, interacting with them, um, well, it was a blast. So I know as coaches coming out here, we want to really work them to the, to the max and really let them understand that this is what it takes to get through, not only football, but in life. I'm so happy that they put on this event because this, I mean, they get about 150, maybe 200 kids. I mean, heck, with probably 250 when they added the cheerleaders this year. This is actually the first year that we had a, a cheer camp for the girls, and it was a 
really a, a, a great success. We had maybe about 50 girls over there cheering. It's part of the game, it's part of the game of football. You know, you, know, you always gotta have the support, people to cheer you on, people to get the crowd up. It was great having them out there. It was great having the cheerleading coaches. Um, Ms. Chalice, she's been working with the cheerleaders here in, uh, in our community for a very long time. They were pretty athletic. They had some athletes out there, definitely. That's another form of uh, teaching, the, uh, especially the older kids, the high schools, to, to you know, help out with the younger ones and you know, get them on the right path and just you know, teach them how to work hard and teach them the right things to do. I know a lot of them think that they come out here for us, but in my perspective, we always come out there for them. You know, before they make those bad decisions, they may change their life. I know that's part of the mission, is to make sure that kids aren't lost to the streets, that kids aren't lost in the shuffle, that, that they know that there are people out there that have their best interests at heart. People within their community care about them and they care about their well-being. To me, that's critically important and that's how I was brought up. This is like our, it's like our thing, we're always gonna have this. DVB is kind of a legend here as far as being so unique in his skills and Ryan Mundy that he was a nationally renowned recruit who played at Michigan and West Virginia on great football teams, and then played for the hometown Steelers. Those are the things that most kids can only dream about. We played in a lot of different places, had a lot of different teammates across the country, uh, but the one thing that everyone knows about us, they know where we're from and they know where we went to high school, and that's really important to us. And they wanna you know, help kind of protect that legacy and, and give something to the future and, sh and share some of the success they've had with people from where they came from. And we just try to instill that same sense of pride in, the, in our community uh, that we have in, in the young people today. I've been around these guys basically my whole entire life and they've always been the same guys. They've never changed. No matter what their status was, they were always uh, the same Steve and Ryan that I've grown up with. They're actually out there to show that, hey, there's a reason they were success stories and that they want to help the next generation of kids. I mean, it's just something so big for their community and the fact that they played on this field, to have them come back and, and do things like this, man, it, it just builds up the tradition even more. It always resonates with me and uh, gives me that intrinsic satisfaction to know that I'm making an impact in my community. You know, yes, it's one day out of the year, um, but it's an important day. And it's that one day here, that one day there, you know, some events that go on in school, some events that may go on in the summertime that create the whole experience. They say the longest journey starts with one step, and this is just one step a part of a young person's life. And uh, we just want to be there along the way to uh, provide a great experience for them and something that they can look forward to year in and year out. Break down! Ah! I want not only this day, but just my foundation to affect the community. You don't have to have a lot. You just have to have good people to work with and you know, to work around and uh, special things happen. And that's how a community develops. You know, that's how you develop trust with kids and the kids with adults. You know, being positive, it, it affects everything, not only within this uh, stadium today, but within the community. You know, you go out after you leave here, you know, it's good energy and you send that out to the world. It's a team effort, and without the team, uh, we can't do it. The parents, teachers, coaches, you know, the high schoolers, like, this is what I want, you know, a sense of community. There's a lot of people that actually go behind the scenes. I've seen a lot of um, old teachers. I, what's really crazy is when I see teammates that bring their sons and daughters out here as well. Football is a saving grace in, in, in a lot of instances, um, but when you want to be a football player, you know, you want to be the top athlete. You want to be the, the number one man. You want to be the, the person that they go to in the fourth course. Just being out here going through all the activities that a football player has to with practice and sacrificing time. You know, you got to make a lot of sacrifice and that teaches you life lessons. Embrace the grind, honestly, and, and enjoy it. Feel that pain and, and, and learn to like that pain. I've never heard anybody regret it. Don't take it for granted because uh, one day you can be out there, but the next day you might not. The game ain't over until the whistle blows, and a lot of times you take that into, you know, situations in life you want to give up, but you just can't. Take constructive criticism and turn it into a positive. Be competitive, be positive, encourage each other, and make friends, you know, because that's the beauty of football, it's the beauty of sport, 
is the, is the lives that impact you as well as you impact theirs. So I just pray that the kids take that away. When you make memories over the time, you, you know, lifelong friends. I mean, it, it isn't always about just going on to another level and playing college or pro, because you're going to make lifelong memories. So, I mean, you just got to enjoy the moment, embrace it, and pick each other up. You know, you're not just on the football field, but it's just in life. Like, you, you're not here to put each other down. Y'all want to be successful together. Y'all want to continue to grow together. You know, don't destroy the community that you came from. You know, that's, that's my biggest thing. You know, you want to develop it and you want to make it special. I want to give a big thank you to everyone who helped us out for year six, uh, 2016, June 11th. Uh, it was a great day, and thank you so much if you served a hot dog, if you signed a kid up, if you gave somebody a t-shirt, if you ran a kid through a drill, uh, if you gave out a water bottle, if you pointed somebody in the right direction, if you brought a kid here, thank you. Uh, and we really mean that, and we really appreciate uh, the support, and we look forward to doing this for many more years to come.